Hi guys and girls, it's me Olivia aka Sisligracy. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're doing really well and you've been having a good week. And uh, yeah, let's just get into this video straight away, shall we? We're doing a Kaz in today's video and this is quite sped up at the moment and I'm voicing over the footage because we know I all like to have a good chin wag and um, yeah, this way I can talk to you a lot rather than multitasking and it's just quite a bit easier. So that's what we're doing and I will slow down the footage towards the end so we can look at everything in real time. So no stresses here if you miss anything. So we're doing a Kaz, we're doing a creator sim and this is inspired by Deligracy's new Let's Play. And she has done a Let's Play about a guy called Awan who has Pakistani background. He's a single dad with a couple of kids and he is struggling to juggle his life, his single life. So I wanted to create um, a family, a single woman and her child and her dog and hopefully they can get together. And Delhi, um, she put out on her social media at inviting viewers to create sims and families and she might put them in her LP. And I thought, you know what, I'm her sister, but technically I'm actually her subscriber as well and a viewer, so I wanted to do it too. And um, I have created Alison Woods and She's looking for love, she's materialistic, she's mean and a foodie, and she's actually based on a teacher I had in Year 9 Geography. Oh wow, she was such a character, my goodness. Um, she was, well for starters, she was kind of fake looking. She <laughs> obviously had breast implants, she had an Oompa Loompa spray tan that was really orange, and she had these big overdone lips, like these... Um, you know that Kylie Jenner phase that she had with the big ducky lips? So she had that going on. And um, yeah, she loved pink, she loved pastel colors, and she did some interesting things. She actually had, she showed me, like she literally pulled out a book of her ex-boyfriends and showed me. Isn't that a weird thing to do? <laughs> I just thought that was kind of inappropriate. Anyway. Um, and she had a type in guys, and her type was guys with dark skin color. And um, yeah, she that's what she really found attractive. And like personally for me, I don't really mind what color someone's skin is. You know, it just would never bother me whether it was dark or light or somewhere in between. But she really had a preference for that. And um, I thought Awan would be right up her alley um, because his skin is a, a lovely dark tan. And um, and yeah, I don't think this woman like was too fussed about ethnicity. She just, she just didn't really like guys with fair skin color. And um, <laughs> yeah, but I just thought like the whole uh, book with ex-boyfriends in it was just a little odd. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to recreate her right now. So all her clothes, uh, some of them are kind of nice, but some of them are kind of tacky. And that's just who she is. She's just a little bit like, NQR. Not quite right <laughs> when it comes to address it. Some of some of the things are nice, but you know, not everything. Not everything. Um, and yeah, we will be making her son Harley and her little Chihuahua dog in a moment. But I do spend quite a bit of time on her because um, I'm probably doing things that I wouldn't normally do, putting on clothes that I probably wouldn't normally pick, and makeup and stuff for her as well. I picked the biggest lips that I could. Um, I have gone for the platinum blonde color. Yeah, she definitely was bleaching her hair, I think, this teacher. And she, I remember quite clearly, she didn't care about what knowledge you had in geography. She quite literally told us that she wouldn't be marking us on our geography knowledge. She would be marking us based on how pretty we made our assignments and how much effort we put into presentation and the borders and the drawings around it. So I would spend all my time making really nice presentation and drawing all, all around the borders in pink just to make her happy. So <laughs> that was my teacher. That was her. Um, yeah. So it'll be really interesting to see what Deligracy does with this sim in her Let's Play. I've watched a couple of episodes. Um, it's pretty good. Like it's quite a quite a good LP. And yeah, she really does those LPs well, to be honest. It kind of makes me want to do one as well when I'm watching them. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should have a go at them. Um, I don't know. It's just a whole new area I haven't really explored yet. So I'm, I may do an LP at some point. I'll just have to just have to think about it a bit more, I suppose. 
But yeah, I do recommend checking it out. I have been enjoying it and I think you probably would too. Um, yeah, so we'll see what Delhi does with The Sims and I mean, I don't know. This is the question. Do we like Alison Woods or or don't we? I don't know. I don't know if I really like Alison Woods. I don't know if I really want her to get together with Awan. But um, I think she's going to give it a crack anyway. <laughs> I think she's thinking, hey, I'm single. You're single. Maybe we can get together. And because they both have kids, that could be kind of the, the segue into that. Like the like the excuse, you know, my kid can come over and play with your kid, what do you reckon? So, um, yeah, that's what I was thinking for, that's what I was kind of thinking of, but we'll see what Delhi has in mind. Who knows, who knows, she'll do something cool, cool with it, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so Delhi, this is my gift to you, our gift to you, we are contributing to your Let's Play. Which is awesome. And I just noticed that I went out of my way then to try and get a particular hairstyle from the laundry pack. I wanted the one with the bandana on and I couldn't find it so I had to filter through my packs till I found it. Because at this point in the game in Sims 4 we literally have so many extra things onto base game that it can actually take a long time to go through everything. If you have all of them I suppose or if you have a, if you've accumulated a number of them. I'm actually quite looking forward to season 5, I'm not going to lie, because um, uh, I, I kind of want to start from scratch again and, and just build up from the very beginning. I sort of feel like at the moment there are so many items, there are so many things to do, it just can kind of get overwhelming. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to when Sims 5 drops and I don't even know if they're working on Sims 5, I am just making an assumption because you would think a huge gaming franchise like The Sims would be, you know, 10 steps ahead kind of like with Apple computers, right? They're, they're planning their Apple products for years in advance, so I'm guessing it's kind of the same thing over there. Um, if I knew, I wish I knew and I'd leaked you information, but I don't actually know, I've got no clue. So, um, so yeah, oh, did you ever watch those videos by um, the Sim Supply and Delhi of their fake Sims 5 trailer reaction? Did you ever see them? They were so funny. And I actually saw James's before it aired, before it went public, he showed me, um, cause he wanted an opinion on it and I was like, oh man, like he didn't tell me what it was, I was just looking at, looking at his video and um, I, I believed it at first I was like this is this is real I, I he really pulled my leg like he had me and then yeah and then I realized oh wait no that can't can't be legit <laughs> so yeah I'm hoping we will see one of those real legit trailers sometime soon but who knows it could be like a couple of years off who knows anyway let's get let me um, Focus now back on to the footage because we're about to start making Harley Woods. We're about to start making um, her son and I was randomizing a few of them and trying to work out kind of what face shape he had, what is he going to look like. Um, the kids all look kind of similar really. They just sort of have different hairstyles I think. So um, I just thought this, this little geezer looked kind of cool. He um, seems to have personality and I wanted to make her son full of personality. That's kind of... Uh, what I thought. I feel like my teacher in real life, um, I don't know if she had any children. I don't remember seeing any photos of her, but uh, of her kids, but I remember seeing photos of her ex-boyfriends. So I figured if she did have a kid, she'd probably be the son of one of her um, old boyfriends. And I'm guessing therefore, because she seems to be like, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> Um, so the saying goes, my mom's, my friend's mom said that once and was like laughing about it. It was, oh man, not in a racist way, absolutely not in a racist way, like as in a, as in a compliment way, like, oh, um, it was so funny. It was like a dinner, dinner table conversation once. Anyway, so little Harley takes after his father a little bit, but obviously his dad isn't in the picture and his mother, I guess he's a bit like his mom in some ways too. Um, he has a lot of charisma, I gave him the social trait, I gave him the active trait as well. I just wanted him to be, you know, full of life. 
And I thought that denim jacket was pretty cool, or that leather jacket, the red one. I thought that was pretty groovy, so I gave that to him. And um, yeah, just giving him some little board shorts now. Um, and I'm going with a lot of, uh, of the styled looks because I find that they are, um, they can really speed up the process of Kaz and sometimes, you know, you might spend a long time on one character and then you want to do the other ones quite quickly. So in that scenario, I often go for the styled looks and sometimes they give you good ideas, to be honest, like Maxis, they've obviously put time and effort into any of their styled looks. People in The Sims team have been sitting there working on it, so um, definitely take advantage of that feature in the game, I reckon. And I kind of just mix it up a bit. I do a bit of both. I do my own outfits and then I do styled looks. I do really enjoy Kaz in The Sims, for sure. And finally, the third member of our family here is um, is not that guy. We're about to make a little chihuahua. I wanted to give her a handbag dog. Um, I don't know if that's legit. Do people actually put dogs in handbags? I have no idea. I actually don't own any pets, so that's a bit sad. And look at his tail, it's going so fast. <laughs> when you speed up the footage, it's like so fast. Oh, that is so cute, so cute. Um, yeah, so AJ is male, but uh, she is gonna dress him however she pleases. Um, I feel like this could be a Jeffree Star little doggy. <laughs> it's pink, I know Jeffree Star goes for his hot pinks all the time. So yeah, we totally could have given this to Jeffree Star. Um, and yeah, so little AJ is gonna be uh, small enough or big enough to put in her handbag. That's the idea. So they have a complete family of three. And I gave the dog quite nice traits, I think. You know how you can make the dogs um, give them kind of mischievous traits and stuff? I just wanted to, it to be an easygoing dog. Okay, so now we're in the in real time footage so we can have a look at the final product. And this is what I dress her in. So that is actually a vampire shirt, believe it or not. But I thought it kind of looked cool. Um, used in sort of a modern context. And look at that spray tan. Girl, I can see your spray tan. Um, fun fact, I actually have had a spray tan done. I went to a salon once and it was such a funny experience. They literally gave me a tiny little paper g-string to put on and said, just get naked, put on your little g-string, stand in the shower and we will spray paint you. Um, and yeah, so then I was spray painted from head to toe apart from my little knickers. It was really quite funny and the spray tan looked okay because I gave it a um, I didn't like kind of overdo it. I sort of did a nice kind of medium spray tan and I did that once But then I didn't do it again because I know that has quite a few chemicals Well, back in the day when I when I did it my body was quite sensitive to that kind of thing um, But yeah, that was my experience with the spray tan um and here we go, here is our evening wear, showing quite a bit of a leg. Um, I have just sort of, I've just exaggerated everything. She's a woman who likes to show things off. I have um, really defined her eyes in the makeup category and yeah, I'm not trying to make her the classiest woman. She's kind of like, she's not really. <laughs> She tries, but she's not really. She likes, I think she likes the Barbie doll look. That's what she goes for. That's what she thinks is very beautiful, I'm sure. But um, yeah, it's just like not like, you know, she's just not super sophisticated, this woman. <laughs> oh, she's funny. She's funny. Like, and yeah, I put as much pink as I can in these outfits because obviously my teacher really liked pink and was very, very girly looking, and that was her style. And um, here's a few, oh, we have a black outfit. Oh, I like the black. That's like a relief from all the pink. So um, yeah, she looks cool, she looks cool. And I've given her like a lot of cleavage. She just kind of overdoes things. That is her style. Um, all right, here we have little Harley Woods. He's looking pretty smart. He's got his trainers on with his um, suit. I like that. That's cool. 
And I'm interested to know, do other countries, we call them runners over here, but I know other people call them trainers, that's why I use that word, or joggers. Everyone's got different words for, a different word for running shoes. So yeah, please feel free to comment underneath and let me know what you say in your country. Be cool to know. And um, yeah, he's just a cool little dude. And um, he's got his Adidas trainers on. He's Adidas runners. And here we have good old AJ <laughs> with his little tail. He is so sweet. And um, yeah, I've given him a number of different looks. I think this bow here is just ridiculous. How could you do that to your pet? But Allison thinks it's cool. Um, and there we go, guys. There is there is our little family, and we'll give this to Deli, and let's hope she likes it. Let's hope she does something cool with them with her, in her Let's Play. And um, thank you for watching the video, and um, I will speak to you in the next one. And yeah, I will speak to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Okay, ciao, ciao.